So Miriam, uh, Broadcom had a big announcement around your Wi-Fi 4x4. Can you give us an overview and again, at a medium level, tell us what we're looking at here. Sure, absolutely. So we announced our 4x4 4360 Wave 2 wireless chip. It's a 4x4 chip that supports uh, a multi-user MIMO as well as a few other features that are uh, Broadcom specific. Um, I'll tell you what the demo is about and then we'll talk about some of the features. So okay. what we're showing here is a router that's uh, based on the 4366 4x4 uh, chip and uh, a uh, client based on the same chip. And we've configured both of them. We're generating traffic and uh, sending it through this router to this one and receiving it and showing what's going on. Uh, we have a cabled setup over here because in a trade show like this, there's a lot of noise from other access points around. And a cabled setup uh, gives us some control over you know, the noise level in, in the in the environment. And as you can see, we're getting, uh, you know, just about a gigabit per second of throughput at this point. We have, you know, throughout the show kind of seen it go up and down. And, uh, and so that's from the new Wi-Fi chip. Uh, some of the features that are specific to Broadcom is we've got our special uh, modulation 1024 qualm. Um, it essentially increases the wireless speed to 2.2 gigabit per second now possible. Um, we have a zero wake DFS feature whereby uh, we have the ability to sort of seamlessly enter radar channels and uh, get away from radar channels so it increases the Wi-Fi capacity in the network. And and then we also have uh, MU MIMO, which is uh, the ability to serve multiple clients at the same time. Because uh, Wi-Fi originally is a sort of uh, time division multiplexed uh, standard where the airtime needs to be split between different clients. Now with multi-user MIMO, you have the ability to talk to multiple clients at the same time. And that exponentially you know, increases the capacity of the wireless network. Now we have the same setup over there in a shielded environment, um, again, to control the amount of noise that you see. And uh, in the shielded environment, again, we have a access point and a client, this time over the air, we're sending and receiving traffic. And as you can see on the screen over here, we're getting close to you know 800 megabits per second. Well, we just installed um Gigawave service in our new office, and we're probably going to end up with two Gigawave service providers in our office or our production center for video. Yeah. But in, in the home, if I've got four or five kids and they're all using their iPads and smartphones, will they? How will the um, how will the, the, the router and your Wi-Fi? divide the time or if they're all streaming the same video or different Right, videos. that's a great question. So, I mean, there, there is, there's always the push for more throughput in the Wi-Fi uh, medium. And uh, it is exactly to support that. So to support, you know, having multiple users at the same time receiving traffic. And, you know, your iPad and your iPhone and, you know, tablets and smartphones are not, you know, that big consumers of, of throughput, it's when you have uh, over-the-air set-top boxes and whatnot with HD, now you see 4K, you know, uh, TVs and uh, set-top boxes we're showing here. Now we're looking at, you know, multiple tens of megabits per second of throughput. And um, the 2.2 gigabit per second that we're showing here happens at close proximity between you know, the Wi-Fi transmitter and the Wi-Fi receiver. As soon as you go into a home, you have much longer distance between the devices. There is a client, you know, on the third floor and an access point on the first floor. So uh, the amount of bandwidth that's available reduces. And that's why in order to be able to even support, you know, 50 megabits per second, 100 megabits per second in a real world environment, you need a chip that's able to achieve, you know, two gigabit per second in a laboratory sort of environment. Thank yeah. you for your time. Yeah, thank you.